So hi again, we have reached the exercise on stopping reading values. So we need to read a program which reads a sequence of read values filled by the user and stops by displaying finished when the sum of these values exceeds 100. So the user should enter its values. We need to do the sum and when the sum exceeds 100, we uh, should stop and display the word finished. So uh, the user should enter values of, of type per year. So let's say double x. And there's a sum, so we need to sum the elements uh, of uh, x. So the user will continuously do uh, entering a number, so we need a loop. So uh, for loop, we don't know how many the numbers, so we cannot use a for loop. So we can either uh, use a while or do while. So uh, uh, do while, the advantage of do while is that we can read a number and then uh, uh, check the condition if the sum is, is, uh, is uh, greater than 100 or we can use a while and uh, check after reading the element and doing the sum. So uh, a while or do while could work here. I will uh, do both. So I will start with a do while. So it's most natural one. So as long as the sum is uh, less than 100, I will continue. So uh, what I mean I will continue, it means that I will ask the user to enter x, I will read x and add it to the sum, percentage lf, and I will add it to the sum, so it's a small x, and I will say sum plus equal to x, and of course I should initialize sum to a 0 at the end. So print f finished. So however, I will display the sum just to be sure that uh, we are uh, completely uh, calculating correctly the sum and stuff like that. So sum equal percentage point two lf backslash n, and I will display the sum. So let's try that. So I will enter fifty. So fifty is more than hundred. Let's enter forty nine. We're still less than 100. Let's enter a 2. So we are now 101. So I will uh, exit the loop and uh, display finish. Let's, uh, from the start, enter a big number. So let's say 200. So and directly I will go uh, out from the loop because it's uh, greater than 100. So I can do the same with a while. So I will move that here. So as long as uh, uh, the sum is uh, uh, less than 0, I will uh, repeat that. So let us check if it works. So I will enter 200. So I will get out since I will read the x here. I will add it to the sum and when I'm checking the, the value, it will be equal to uh, 200. So let's uh, do the first example. So 50, 49 and 2. 50, 49 and 2 it's equal to 101 so we can either use while or uh, do while and everything remains the same so this was for this exercise if you have any questions do not hesitate to drop me a message and i will answer you back for sure and again thanks for watching